Witnesses have told Congress that the U.S. has been in possession of more than one UFO since the 1930s, less than 24 hours after the publication of a report by three CIA agents who, after a mission in Russia in 1995, said they saw two UFOs take off in front of them in an area in the southern Caucasus. Allegations were made at a committee meeting of the U.S. Congress that they have nothing to do with anything to be jealous of what was happening in the X-Files TV series about the existence of aliens and timeless government cover-up at all costs. Two highly respected veteran U.S. Air Force pilots have confirmed reports that they've been in contact with an unidentified aircraft shaped like a Tic Tac UFO that has been dubbed the Tic Tac UFO, of course. The pilots also, it looks like a Tic Tac candy. Now, the pilots also claim that at least 30 of their colleagues had encountered with, uh, encounters with an unidentified flying object. The most interesting testimony, however, was made by David Grush, a high-ranking official of the U.S. Secret Service, who said that the U.S. has been in possession of more than one UFO in the 1930s and research is being carried out with extraterrestrial technologies. He also said that reliable intelligence officials told him that in one case, a non-human-made aircraft with biological creatures as pilots was spotted. Grush also claims that he personally knows intelligence agents who have been injured either by contact with UFOs or during top-secret work and research conducted studying acquired alien technologies. He also stated that he had come to his, this knowledge of cases of the uh, assassination of individuals by Secret Service with the aim of not revealing the existence of possession by the U.S. of UFOs. It's obvious that what was heard in the Congressional Committee is the, an ideal fuel for rekindling the debate about the existence of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations that have visited our Earth, and the matter takes on new dimensions from the moment that the named allegations begin to appear and revelations from high-profile people. It now remains to be seen if there will be any reaction from either a U.S. government agency or the U.S. government to all of this. And this is from Tribune Greece. I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.